You will first need one and a half pounds of beef and six to eight carrots, one turnip, five regular potatoes and three sweet potatoes, six to nine stalks of celery, two leeks, a quarter of a red cabbage and one small green cabbage, five to six cloves of garlic and one chunk of ginger, one onion and eight tablespoons of flour, three tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of parsley, one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of rosemary, one teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of paprika, and two bay leaves. And for the roux, you will need a half a cup of flour and a half a cup of butter. You can use leftover beef steak, but just make sure that you cut the steak into thick chunks. Peel and dice the onion and garlic. Rinse the celery and then remove the stringy parts with a knife. Dice the celery, but then dice a quarter of it much finer. Peel and dice the carrots. Peel and dice the turnip. Slice off the ends of the leeks and then rinse the center stalk very well and then slice. Slice the cabbage really thin. Peel and dice the potatoes. Coat the beef chunks in flour. Heat a large pot on medium heat, add the mirepoix mix, and then stir constantly for 20 minutes. Remove the mixture from the pan and place into a bowl. Add a little more oil if needed, and then brown all the sides of the beef. In batches, and then place into a bowl. To deglaze the pot, just use a little bit of water and using a metal spoon, scrape off the excess off the bottom and then it will create a little tiny bit of a gravy. Add the beef and mirepoix mix back into the pot. Add the turnip and a little bit of cabbage. And the chunk of ginger. Fill the pot with enough water to double the depth of the meat. Add the spices, the bay leaves, and then stir and cover and bring to a boil and then remove the cover and simmer for four to six hours. Add the remaining vegetables and then cook for another one hour. To make the roux, melt the butter in a separate saucepan and then whisk in the flour and cook for two minutes. And then add a few cups of the stew broth into that and make a paste. 
and then take the paste with the whisk and whisk it into the top of the stew very gently and then take a spoon and mix it up and then continue to cook for another 15 minutes. And for the tea biscuits, which you can also make into dumplings, you will need six cups of flour, two and a half cups of milk, one and a half cups of vegetable shortening, two eggs, four tablespoons of sugar, six teaspoons of baking powder, and four teaspoons of cream of tartar, two teaspoons of baking soda, and two teaspoons of salt. Whisk all of the dry ingredients into a large bowl. Dice the vegetable shortening and then cut into the dry ingredients using a whisk until crumbly. Whisk the eggs into the milk and then pour that into the dry mix. and combine until it forms a little bit of a dough. Lightly knead into a one inch rectangle. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Lightly knead on a floured surface into a one inch high rectangle. Lightly grease the baking trays with vegetable shortening and then lightly dust with flour. Cut out circles using a glass or a cookie cutter. Place the tea biscuits onto the baking tray and then poke holes them to the top with a fork. Bake in a preheated 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Let cool on a wire rack or serve immediately. Once cooled, both recipes can be stored and then frozen for later. Enjoy! Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more of my videos, just make sure you click that subscribe button.